Joe and Jack, Joe and Jack, Joe is a boy, Jack is a cat. Joe and Jack, Joe and Jack, the best of friends, the fun never ends. Joe and Jack, Joe and Jack, they travel the world and always come back. Everything's fun for a boy and a cat. Come and join the fun with Joe and Jack. Every time we do the laundry, socks seem to go missing. One of Gracie's is missing today, and a white sock of mine went missing last week. They're probably fed up spending all day on my smelly feet, and have decided to escape. <laughs> Did you hear that, Jack? Escaping socks. Where do you think they're going? I don't know, but let's find out. We could be detectives. And look for clues, and find those missing socks. Definitely came this way, Jack. Look, Joe, there's one now! After him, Jack! <laughs> Let's go find those missing socks. After you, Detective. Hmm. <laughs> oh, pew! This one must be Dad's sock. And this one is your sock? <sighs> no, it's Gracie's. And that's your mum's? Precisely. OK, so where would socks go? Well, people wear them on their feet, so wherever people's feet go, the socks go too. But when they're not on people's feet, they're in the drawer. Or in the washing machine. Let's see what happens when clothes go to the wash. So first of all, Mom puts the dirty clothes into the washing machine. They're trapped in there. They'd never escape. Then Mom puts the clothes on the washing line to dry. So maybe they escaped from the washing line. It's a clothes peg. Mum uses these to put the clothes on the washing line. But it's broken. That means whatever it was holding on the line could have blown away. So we should search the garden. Precisely. Hmm. I found something. Come quick. Look. Oh, it's a snail. I know. Imagine carrying your house around on your back. Yes, but we're not looking for snails. We're looking for socks. Sock! Sock! Yes, I heard you the first time. We're looking for socks. No, look! It's one of the missing socks. Cool! One sock found, two to go. Now we have to find Gracie's missing sock. Gracie's room is very messy. She really should clean it up. Yes, but she's too young to clean her room. How come she's too young to clean her room, but old enough to mess it up? That, Jack, is a very good point. I don't think we'll ever find Gracie's missing sock. Hmm. <laughs> what are you looking at? There's something on your tail. Ah, get it off! Get it off! Get it off! Stop spinning! <laughs> What is it? <laughs> it's Gracie's missing sock. What's wrong, Jack? All that spinning has made me a bit dizzy. I think I need to get my blankie and go for a lie down. OK, I'll come get you in a bit. Well done. <laughs> now, we just need to find your missing white sock. Jack? Jack? Jack, are you awake? Oh, only my eyes were asleep. Oh, and one of my legs. Come on, wake up. Joe, 
What do you think legs dream about when they fall asleep? I don't know, but Jack, we've just one more sock to find. Mum's white one. It's your mum's sock, so we should probably start in your mum's room. Uh, hey, what's that? Uh, that's my blankie. It helps me get to sleep. And where did you get it? I found it near the laundry room. Why? Because, Jack, it's not a blankie. <gasps> it's a sock. But it's a grey sock. We're looking for a white one. Hmm. I've got an idea. They have the same pattern, but they're different colours. It just doesn't make any sense. I think I might be able to help. Guess what I have, guys? You found it! No, you did. It's the grey sock. All it needed was a good wash. Did you hear that, Jack? We solved the mystery. I think you deserve a little treat for all your hard work. Huh? Where are all the snacks? Uh, I, I think I'll get Gracie ready for bed. <sighs> this sounds like a case for Detectives Joe and Jack. <laughs> <laughs>